Hey yo guys, before we hop into today's video, I just want to go ahead and put the word out that we are almost sold out of our DBP squad slash Mustang Fest shirts. Head to the website 9 grindshop go snag you a shirt. It gives you one entry into the giveaway. So it's one of 75. Good luck. Well, it's been a while. It's been a while. Good old Lucifer. And uh, we had a lot to talk about today. And a lot of you aren't going to be really expecting what I have to say, but... Let's, uh, let's jump in the car, we're gonna go take a little cruise, probably our last cruise for a while, and um, let's chop it up. Trip to VMP. Oh yeah. Back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you would drop a like up on this video right now, I need my like squad on deck with these videos because every like, every comment, and watching the video in its full entirety truly helps out videos get pushed out into the YouTube algorithm. And I cannot stress that enough. So if you could do those three things for me. We're good to go. We are in Blucifer, and I know I've been hyping up this topic for a while now because we are breaking some news today um, with both cars, mainly Blucifer, but with that, there's gonna you know be a little whirlwind of some news with Hades as well. And uh, you know, here with Ben, um, over two years ago now, we took yeah. this to Florida to get yeah. boosted with VMP, which is crazy that it's been over two years already. You know, I just reviewed, uh, Joe loaded a base tune in it last night, and uh, I just reviewed the timing parameters and everything else. We got to see what the knock sensor is going to do on this pole. But uh, I think it very well makes 650 to 700 on the first pole. All right, so you're with JD on that. I'm thinking 650 is going to be a really obtainable number with keeping the motor as safe as possible. A lot of new parts on this that they haven't tested yet, so it's going to be very exciting. Sounds healthy. on the first poll, just RPM wise till you review the data log. <laughs> now I do watch data logs during the poll and I lift if I see something go wrong. But uh, um, yeah, I um, didn't think about how much revving it out was gonna make. You, you can't see this, can you? <laughs> I can't dude, I'm blind as a bat. Okay, <laughs> well, um, it just made 714 uh. rear wheel horsepower. So two years ago, we got this thing boosted and it's just nuts because time is flying. I've had a ton of memories in this car. I've driven it on our first East Coast Mustang tour with Jake. That was like a damn near 4,000 mile trip all said and done, which was crazy. And ultimately it's it's been a dream. It's been an awesome car. Love the color. It's paid off. It's boosted. It's, it's mint. It has 33,000 miles. So you know, sometimes I just gotta sit back and actually understand that I have a badass S197. And I know what you're thinking, what exactly could I have to talk about in today's video regarding Lucifer? And um, you know, there's actually a lot. There was a lot of thought that went into making this final decision on Lucifer, and um, it truly just stemmed from Mustang Fest 2022. You know, we took the 2020 10-speed Hades, 
and uh, you know we had a good time and all but I will say it didn't feel right it didn't feel the same as taking Blucifer like on the East Coast trip or to the previous Mustang weeks <laughs> acceptable I should say and I cannot believe that like this was sitting outside for one neglected for two and just like really not cared about anymore it's just it blows my mind it really does so I don't know what it was but after Mustang Fest I was like nah nah this ain't happening Jesus God guy almost can sideswipe me yeah. almost I think with the changes we want to go and the routes we want to take um, it's gonna make this car come full circle and just be the absolute perfect S197. Obviously, no. We had this thing boosted with VMP for a little over two years now, and uh, for those of you that don't know, the blower that's on the car is a VMP Gen 3R. Um, it's a pretty meaty blower. I've absolutely loved it. It's been uh, it's been a little rowdy, that's for sure. VMP Gen 3R. Uh, we have the 88 millimeter pulley on there, paired up with a JLT um, catch can and our VMP plug-and-play return style fuel system. Uh, a 93, the car made 713. We put boost stain in and then it made 722 on the 88 millimeter pulley, Gen 1 Coyote. So definitely a spicy setup. Uh, and you know, it's instant torque, it's makes good power, it eats up top, and it's just, you know, absolutely everything you're looking for with like a positive displacement blower. So uh, VMP absolutely killed it with their Gen 3R kit. And again, I've absolutely loved it for the past two years. But with that being said, I did talk with Justin and I pitched him my idea. And to be honest with you, my idea is to change this whole car set up over the winter, to have something for one to film because winters here in Virginia suck car scene sucks there's nothing going on in the winter and you know I want to go and enjoy the car again I want to try something different I want to experience a different setup on this car and my idea was to go and switch to this setup and then after I'm done with my track sessions with Hades and a because you know we're full bolt on we're E85 pretty much max effort or at least as max effort as I want to go with that car Instead of having a VMP blower on an S197, let's go ahead and throw a VMP blower on Hades, the car that I actually track. And to me, it makes so much sense because Hades, I'm not really worried about taking to the track, making great power, hitting runs, and going for that nine second pass. But that's why I have Hades. Hades is gonna be the race car. And then we're gonna go and switch this setup on Blucifer to a Paxton. Um, I've been falling in love with the Paxton 2200 SL kits, the Heritage gears, the Max Flow blow off valves, and and you know I kind of miss the Century blower car in my life. You know we had VMP on this, and then when we had Blue Two valve, we had the Vortec V3 SI setup that was intercooled with a Tile Q 50 millimeter blow off valve. So that was very fun, and truthfully, I just don't want two positive displacement cars, and. Um, just makes the most sense to go ahead and uh, redo Blucifer. With wanting to go and convert Blucifer over to a Paxton 2200 SL kit, Blucifer's Gen 3R is currently available as of today. I've tried convincing Jordan into snagging this for Ruby, but he's just not quite there yet. So I totally understand. But um, if there's one of you watching right now that wanted to get your hands on a really, really low mileage, never beaten hard, honestly. It's never seen a track. It's never been spun hard. The, uh, the smallest pulley it's ever been on is an 88 millimeter. So you 
you know that's really nothing when it comes to these blowers they're capable of really really high horsepower and uh, you know the kit is available if you are interested in having a piece of Lucifer on your coyote definitely email me derekbrandproductions at gmail.com we can work something out someone come snag Lucifer's gen 3r kit it's gonna come with two pulleys I want to say the other pulley is a 92 millimeter I never threw it on uh, this 88 millimeter produces about 12 to 13 psi on e85 right now this car is making about 750 wheel which um, I just don't recommend I don't recommend making 750 wheel on a Gen 1, but um, if you do put the other pulley on, on E85, you'll be right about 700-ish. So uh, that's where the car sat for a very long time on 93. I've loved every moment of it, and um, you know, I had a lot of fun with this blower kit. I really have, and it's just one of those things that gets me so hyped because after this car does get a Paxton, we're going to head back down to Florida and get a VMP thrown on the black car and make some serious, serious steam and go pretty fast so i'm uh, really looking forward to that i do want to go and give vmp performance a huge shout out justin rebecca the whole vmp team absolutely down the earth cool people um for them to you know understand where i'm coming from with wanting just to try something new on this car with a century kit and you know putting a vmp blower on the black car later on next year probably beginning of next year we'll say um you know that's very exciting because that black car is going to make some serious power it's the 10 speed 10 r80 and uh you know it has very very good capabilities of going nine seconds which is nasty um that's that's a fast pass so i'm really looking forward to that to be honest with you and you know just to try something new with the packs and setup on this car it's just gonna bring more content and i think i'm just gonna want to drive the car a lot more because i'm gonna have a century blower car back in my life but um you know don't get it twisted this vmp gen 3r kit is top of the line stuff it made some awesome awesome steam and uh truthfully it's it's a badass blower it really is so let's go ahead and take a look on exactly what you'll be getting you'll be getting the vmp gen 3r head unit uh it, you know it does come with their um their twin jet 69 millimeter throttle body with the jlt cold air intake um i will throw in the jlt catch can it has the heat exchanger the two pulleys 88 millimeter and i think it's a 92. so other than that you'll just need um some injectors and a booster pump and you're ready to rock so if you're interested in a gen 3r kit with about 10,000 miles on it that hasn't been spun hard uh, you know shoot me an email derekbrandproductions at gmail.com and um, yeah again honestly VMP thank you so much it's been an absolute blast on on Blue Surfer here but I'm ready for the next chapter with Hades I'm anxious to see what your low key kit does and I'm anxious to see what we run at the track and you know hurt some feelings out there so I figured that's like the best way to go ahead and um, you know open up the new chapter with Hades and I know I said I was gonna keep it NA but who are we kidding that car deserves a blower and uh, there's nobody else out there I'd rather partner with on Hades than VMP so so this actually might be the last drive in Lucifer for quite some time mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a bittersweet kind of moment but it's more exciting than anything because in the end you know two boosted coyotes one century blower one PD blower it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be really sick. So, uh, and I know I sound like a broken record, but if there's anybody interested in supercharging their Coyote Mustang, which I highly recommend, because um, you know these cars deserve it, definitely email me, and uh, you know we can work something out.
I actually think I'm just gonna sell the car. I'm gonna buy Terminator Cobra. Black? Maybe. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I just took my key fob and hit my right nut and it's like sending a fucking jolt of pain through my body. You ever do that where it's just a good little, like, oh yeah. That's all it takes all and it's just like. Graze and you're just done. a little graze and a little graze and it feels like you literally just got fucking Jackie Chan in the gut. <laughs> Well, there you have it, boys. That's um, that's the news I wanted to break to you. Blucifer 2.0 is incoming. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are stoked on it. I'm very excited to see what the new setup does. See, you know, it's gonna be sounding like a 747 going down the road. And then after the packs and install, you know, we talked with our people over at VMP and Hades here is gonna be a it's gonna be a monster. It's gonna be disgusting. Um, Poor Apollo. Shout out Apollo. Thing's gonna get eaten alive and just kind of like spit out, kind of like the rubbish it is. Yeah, it's gonna suck when he loses to both of these cars. That's gonna be, <laughs> gonna be hella unfortunate. When you're beta energy like him, it's just kind of, I don't know. Like it's just, it's gonna suck. That's all I know. Thank you all so much for watching. Please, if you would, drop a like up on this video. Drop a comment down below. Um, if you're watching this video, right now, set a reminder for Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be going live on the channel Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's right, Tuesday live, Thursday live, Saturday group live. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday is gonna be our normal um, video uh, schedule. So I'm very excited to try that out. So come support me, 8 p.m. every day. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support. Go grab your Mustang Fest shirts. And uh, you know, with that, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Blucifer 2.0 build over the winter. We're gonna really, um, we're gonna nitpick this car. We're gonna do every little thing and kind of, you know, finish, so to speak so we can just really enjoy it and um i'm thinking we're going to take it on another east coast mustang tour with our packs and setup if i'm being honest it's just a staple of the channel man that's me thank you all so much for watching have a blessed rest of your day and we'll catch you tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time for our live but until next time we'll see you later